quantum mechanics uh, really constrains um, the laws of physics that could govern the, 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 the universe. Uh, and it's most severe in the case of gravity uh, because we, it's, it's severe to the extent that we don't really understand how quantum mechanics is consistent with gravity. We realize but that basically the universe is expanding. It actually accelerates. Things get farther and farther uh, away. And what it means is that if we do a small change in some system, as the, as the universe uh, grows and expands, this change will grow as well. So that can remind you, of course, of maybe the most uh, famous characterization of chaos, which is the butterfly effect. The small change leads to a very dramatic effect. Quantum mechanics also constrains the chaotic behavior of a system. Um, uh, and it, this is a discovery, actually, that happened several years ago uh, here at the Institute. I would really like to understand how quantum mechanics can allow for this chaotic behavior and what we can learn uh, both about the basic laws of quantum mechanics and gravity with this particular effect. It may seem naively that, um, that gravity uh, may not be uh, as important in understanding in the context of quantum mechanics, but this is very much not true. It's clear that there will be new physics, physical concepts and laws that will arise once we understand how quantum mechanics and gravity are consistent. This is, this is essentially what happened with special relativity, right? We just take it now to general relativity. In special relativity, once we understood how to combine it with quantum mechanics, we were led to quantum field theory, which de describes all the particles, elementary forces between them, everything that we see at collider physics. This was all led by understanding these two principles together. And we just try to do the same now with general relativity.